the former Grace Hospital of Morganton, now UNC Health Blue Ridge, as well as the Grace Hospital School of Nursing, are featured in an exhibit at the History Museum of Burke County. The exhibit includes artifacts from the hospital's founding in 1906 to the 1960s. Unlike today, the nursing programs were hospital-based rather than um, nurses being trained at a community college or a university. Mm -hmm. So there were dormitories where the nurses lived. The red brick building that's across from the comma now, what I think was the old nursing dormitory, they would be very much kind of on the job training that these nursing students would be on the ward with supervision. I mean, there would be classwork, but a lot of it was um, that traditional, you know, the nursing student was on the ward. Mm -hmm. I do know that Western Piedmont, when it was first set up, one of the first programs was nursing. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, that was the transition as they moved from um, these hospital-based nursing programs to a more formal training. Mm -hmm. How do you feel that Grace Hospital having its own nursing school impacted patient care there? I think it I'm sure it was a benefit because you've got nursing students on site. Um, I would think it possibly it means more personnel. Um, and I am a big believer in experiential learning. So I think having nurses that, I think current education programs that are usually based in a community college or a university setting um, have clinicals that provide that same piece. Um, but I think that having the nursing school right there would be um, an important aspect mm -hmm. or would be would certainly add another dimension to a program.